What's up traders? Welcome back to KJ Trading. Um, today's video is going to be a trade, a live day trading recap um, on eyes. Because these guys are very rippy. I did lose money today. I mean, you could just see this giant candle. Enormous. I mean, how many dollars is that? Dollar fifty right there. Almost a dollar sixty. I did catch most of the consolidation, you know, kind of rips up, down, up, down, up, down. But I decided to buy at the highs almost every time. So once they rip back down, I had to sell them. I had two green trades, but three red trades, which resulted in me uh, losing $5.37. So let's just go right into the trade recap. All right, so I first bought my uh, five shares here at 12 66 um so let's find 1266 and i'll tell you why i got in here all right so here's 1266 in this candle i got in here because they were halted and i i'm also late to the trading day today because as you know monday and tuesday i have school um so i was trading during school here but i missed this whole thing i didn't even have my thinkorswim up so once i turn it on I saw that they were halted and I saw that they were moving a lot. And basically, once they broke over this um, halt candle here, where they did halt, I tried to get in, which I got in about six cents higher than I wanted, or about 10 cents actually, because I did use market. And market is really bad on the stock today. Anyway, I did get in at 12.66 and I was up decently, but. It was just too rippy. Like, it was never really up here. And it kind of just came down, came up, came down, came up. And then it closed here, opened here, just a little bit down. Instantly ripped down. And then I was like, whoa, that's a lot. Like, I'm not trying to lose that much, you know? So it comes up. And I put my my um, my um order in basically at the top here. I didn't know it was going to be the top. Um, uh, Join the ask. And never got filled because obviously never went that high. So I had to cancel that and look like I got up for at 13, made 44 cents a share. So I was up like 220 right there, if my math is right. Whatever 44 cents times five is, I think it's two dollars 20 cents. Um, next trade, you can see I kind of waited for them to, to chill out here. And I was going to, basically what I tried to do here is buy the break over $13, both times. And they both failed, as you see here. I mean, this one came up, instantly failed. Like, it never held up here. It broke, instantly came down within a second. So I was like, okay, that's not really what I'm looking for here, you know. Because this thing is just so rippy. I mean, let me zoom out just to, just to show... How big these bars really are compared to everything else. Huge bars. Oops. <clears throat> Let me just get back here. There we go. Let's move this out of the way. So yeah, I bought for the break of 13 here because it started to consolidate. I bought for the break of 13. I got in 10 cents higher with a market order. I clicked it once it broke over, but I got filled literally at the top of this candle. By like what's the high of this candle 13 so basically the top and as soon as i bought an in, instant rip again like within a second it went up to 13 i was up two cents on my five shares it instantly ripped down and i think i cut it in this candle yeah 1250 i cut it right here so what is that 60 cents a share there that put me right on the day I think I was down like a dollar thirty ish. And this candle, this is the bad one. I did the same thing because it opened up. Um and it broke over 13 again, so I hit buy market, which I don't know if I should continue doing this. Got filled 18 cents higher. I mean it, it moved as I hit the button, so that's probably why I got filled so high. I hit the button and it instantly popped up like that, but then it like the biggest rip of the day I caught to the downside. Um, I sold them at 12.23 right here. As soon as I bought in, 
again a couple seconds and it didn't even move down. It just appeared this time. Didn't even move. So that was where I lost most of my money. I was down like 560. And then. Yeah, I bought three shares here at 12, uh, 1172 here. So 1172 is right here. In this candle, I bought them for the because they halted again here. This is why this is um, nothing. No volume or either. Well, actually, there is volume on this candle. 171,000. But they did halt. So I had to wait five minutes and I bought over this again like I did back here. And this was a green trade. Um, I sold them at 12.12, 12, bought them at 1172, but only three shares. So I didn't have much money left to trade with. So those are my two green trades. These are my two red trades. And then my last trade, I one, I could buy one share because I had like $14 left to use. So I said, well, I might as well use it all. No point to keep 14 here. Um, And I bought for the break over the high here. I think I got filled at 12.40. Yeah, 12 forward, I got filled right here. It wasn't the high. They went up a tiny bit, and then they instantly flushed. And I sold them right around 1190 right here. So I lost, what is that, 50 cents on one share? That's horrible. Within a couple seconds, too. Within, like, 20 seconds. Not even. Yeah, those are my trades for today. You can still see this thing is ripping down. Mostly. I really wish I was here coming from pre-market um, catching this move. Obviously. Um, it sucks that I couldn't I wasn't even on then. But maybe if I'm late I shouldn't even trade. Maybe I should be a new rule. <clears throat> so that's done with the trade recap. I do want to go over my new discord. So, I'll put a link in the description for that. Let me go right on the monitor too here. Here is the new Discord. I made a Discord. It's got the general. Um, got main chat. I got a couple people in here. Just two people that joined. We're just talking a little bit um, about AMC. I got the scanner, which I, I take the pictures of um, the scanner right here in the morning and put them in there and anything else that doesn't pop up also just type um like you can see here you put your profit and loss picks here if you want i'm going to be posting all my youtube videos from here on out in here as well so if you do join you can just click them right here and then we have stock bot which is probably the coolest thing about discord i didn't even know you can do um you can get the float in news right in discord on a stock so let's just go on eyes so you do exclamation point news for news and EYES the ticker and then a couple seconds it'll pop up with the latest news I should maybe I did not do it right try it again it's worked every single time let me try float see if float works now EYES does float work Oh yeah, it was just lagging. Yeah, I don't know why. It never took that long before. It's normally like two seconds and it comes up with it. So the news came in and then the float came in. So you can see the shares outstanding, the flow, insider ownership, and all that stuff. <clears throat> Which is pretty cool. And you get to see the latest news. Um, news from a couple hours ago. You can actually click read more and it'll come right up with stuff. But um, Yeah. That's my Discord. We also got the voice channel. I might start going live in here because I can go live. So if you guys want to come join the Discord, you can see me actually trade live instead of me doing the videos. Again, Monday and Tuesday, it's not going to be able to be live because I'm going to be in school. But Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I can go live. So just remember that. Uh, Monday and Tuesday are going to be trade recaps because I can't actually record. But Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I can record. So those are going to be days where I'm going to be doing live day trading. But with that, if you enjoyed this video, my little analysis of how I lost $5.37 or about 2% on my account today, um, please leave a like because today is not a good day. 
It's one of my biggest losing days in the last month and almost every single day in the last month I've lost money between a couple cents there to eight dollars. Almost every single day has been red. Um, getting a little irritated now because I like you can see that there's plenty of money to be made, but I still manage to lose money when all these rips still manage to lose money here. I mean, in hindsight, I should just be buying the dips every single time, but you never know if that's the start of a, a bigger move down. So that's the reason I didn't. I was trying to buy the break for the high, but that didn't work. So I shouldn't have done that the second time. And then today probably would have been a green day because I did lose most of my money right here. I did lose most of my money here on this candle. I lost basically five bucks in that trade. I lost almost a dollar a share there. So if it wasn't for this one trade here, I probably would have been green on the day. Or maybe just break even-ish. But that's fine. Tomorrow's in, can only be better done today, hopefully. But yeah, with that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe. I'm going to put the link to the Discord in the description. It's also at my homepage. So if you want to come join, come join. Um, Thank you for watching.